G'day guys, it's Gavin from the Cartridge Company in New Zealand. In case you don't know, I do a heap of 1UZ conversions and conversion related stuff, wiring. My goal is to slowly work through a lot of the, the really basic stuff on a 1UZ. And it's the stuff that's it's in, contained in all my other videos, but kind of mixed in. So I thought I'm going to try and just break it right down and do a lot more of the, the real basics and, and specifically on one particular topic. So we're going to talk about that today, reasonably quickly. So what is it? So it's this little unit here, and it's on the inlet, not to be confused with the fuel pressure regulator, which has got the, the vacuum hose on it. No screw. This one has a screw, and you shouldn't go fiddling with the screw. You can tell when the engine has fuel pressure because that screw will pop up. So there's fuel pressure. And this has got a couple of washers that are very important to put in the right place. It has a 22 millimeter nut on it. So as we remove it, we can see there's a hole in the centre of the dampener and there's holes around the side. The fuel will travel through the fuel line into the centre of the banjo. It then needs to travel up into the dampener through these holes onto the underside. So through these holes. So it's important that this washer with the little cutouts like that is at the top, up against the dampener itself, and on the bottom of the fuel inlet line, it has just a normal type copper or aluminium washer, crush washer. So that's at the bottom. The fuel comes through the center of the pipe, up into the dampener. The dampener's basically got a diaphragm and a spring inside and then it goes down through the center of that banjo fitting into the fuel rail. So why do we have a fuel dampener? The way the fuel pump works, it doesn't provide a completely smooth supply of fuel and in fact it, it kind of pulses it and that's just the design of the pumps. Some are worse than others. So that dampener is designed to take that pulse out of the fuel pressure and keep it much steadier. You will hear some people say you don't need it. Whilst you can get away without running it, I personally do recommend using them. You'll see other performance vehicles getting them fitted, an aftermarket unit fitted, and a lot of uh, very professional tuners recommend that using them. Personally, I run them on every conversion that I do and every engine that I fit up. So if you're doing lots of 1UZ work or you're interested in 1UZ engines, uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel. So hopefully that was helpful. That's enough for tonight and we'll talk to you again. Catch you later.